Hello guys, welcome back to Bailatron's channel. Today, I'm gonna to try and make a Vikings chair. Cheers for all your recent subscriptions. Uh, it's not always about bikes or exploring. It's a lot to do with woodworking as well. So, let's see what we can get built today. What about this one? Yeah, it's big enough. That it, it, that is a piece of honey locust. See if we can do it out of that. Right then, let's move all this stuff and crack on with it. That's a little workbench for today. Yeah, this one will do perfect because it's all warped. It's no good for anything, anything else really. Unless you planed it all down. See that? A gap right underneath here. It's warped. It's been set up against a wall rather than being laid flat. Tell me that corner, a little bit in the middle. Mm. We can still use it though. We'll make something out of it. The Viking's chair, or Stargazer chair as some people call it. Time for a bit of research. Because I don't know the exact height or dimensions of it. I'm just going to wing it, I think. I might just wing it. Viking chair sizes. 48 inches long for the backrest. 12 inches long for the seat area. And the look of it. About 48 inches long. I bet I ain't gonna get that. Might be a small, it's gonna be a child's Viking chair. That's what it'll be. We'll see. We've got 75 inches. 37 and a half inches to the centre. 37 and a half. Fully. I ain't got a straight edge to work off. I'll just keep it at that for a minute. Get a couple of straight edges going. We've set square. Just a little bit of a guesstimation going on here. Because we've got two wany edges. No straight edge. So we have to work from one side. Okay, change of plan. We're gonna go 48 inches with this one and about 44 with this one. This will be the bottom piece and this will be the, the backrest. So that'll be your seat, and this will be your backrest. Just not enough, because you want it above your head. You don't want it below your neck. So we're just gonna, we have to put these two together, which will work out better anyway. There is a big crack in this one. Bugger. Might be able to get around it. Oh, sorry. We're gonna use this as the footprint for the bottom and the top, obviously where your head's gonna be. But I'm trying to get a bigger footprint here on the floor than where your head's gonna be. So we use this side for the floor. And on this one, we've got a crack down the center there. So I don't know if I'm gonna to manage to cut one half of this out and then turn it into a chair at the top or that half out and cut a chair into the top. It'll probably be this one because there's more surface area here. Look, if you went that way from the crack. Damn it. Need to figure out the height of where the hole's going to be. For the seated area to go through. I'm going to say about 12 inches from the bottom to wherever 12 inches is for the square cutout so we can push the chair straight through it. The joys of being left-handed do everything upside down. 
I should say 12 inches then. 12. 12. And what would we say? How thick's the board? Just under two inches. So, we go, yeah. Just under, just under. So it's about that then. Square. We need to try and get it. So, that's about central. Two whiny edges, so difficult to try and get an accurate marking without a straight edge. We're looking at six inches. Let's just do six. See how that fares out. Kind of getting somewhere. You wouldn't think I do a lot of woodworking. I'm just start of this. <clears throat> that line that's got to go this bit's coming out I managed to get it level using a square can't do it off the edge like I said because it's all whiny same both sides so you have to cut an edge and then work off that edge for everything else and the big drill bit. Ah, so that'll do. I'll do this. Do it towards the centre so we can. Forward might help. Why is it on hammer? <sighs> So now we've got sort of a clean hole. It's harder to, to cut than you think. This honey locust is really, really tough. And I've got nothing deep enough to cut in there, if you know what I mean, the depth of it. And everything else is just too wide. So I've just had to do what I can really to get that in there. What I should have done with that hole, that hole, I should have got the chainsaw out. That would have been much easier. Oh well. Moving on. So there's the sort of shape. And it, that's where it sits at the front. Same that side. All this will be gone. And that will be the seat. And we'll trim it down later. And the top of the, the uh, Viking chair as well. And this fits in that hole, puts up against that. Let's try it. Come on, come on. <laughs> She's in. Let's try and stand it up. I've stood it up. But I think it's a little bit too big. I need to cut the top off it. 
Stargazer chair. Please don't collapse, please don't collapse, please don't collapse. Ah. I think we should take it outside and there. Uh, I might carve it with a chainsaw yet. Do something with it. Hmm. Yeah. Let's take it outside. The oversized Viking chair. Yeah. Might say. No, we could take it. <clears throat> Choices, anyway. Make it kind of roundish there or something. Make it kind of roundish like that. To the point. That will keep natural. And the front, I think we should kind of bevel it flattish because your legs. And back into the waning edge. If I sit on it like that, and then get this, that's the top of my head. Do we know where we're going? Kind of up and that way, sort of thing. Yeah, that'll work. Let's bust out the chainsaw. I think that shapes much better around the seat. We're getting somewhere. Yeah. That bark edge needs to come off, I think. It's a bit heavy that side, so we'll go up a bit there, look. Level it out a bit more.
Ah. Yep, yeah, I'm up, mate. Oh. That's it for this episode, guys. Make sure you tune in next week to finish this off when we pull the detail and make it look really cool. Until next time, see you around. <laughs>